So here's a new Nokia. What do you call this one? 808 Pure View. This is a new 808 phone. Pure View. Uh, Pure View. What is Pure View? So Pure View is our uh, imaging technology. Uh, so there's a camera in here, in this bump here, which uh, it says Carl Zeiss. What's what's special about it? So basically, as you see, it's got a 41 megapixel sensor, okay. and it's also got the Carl Zeiss uh, optics. 41 megapixel, but that's insane. Yeah, but it's not about the number of pixels. What you can do with your pictures nowadays, right? With 41 megapixel, with a very big sensor, you can take very, very good pictures, very crisp, bright. The, the colors are not so beautiful. And you can also capture emotions. You can capture a scene. You can capture stories within stories. And that's the fun part of this, having a big sensor. Let me show you a couple of yeah. examples. This is Symbian, no? Yes, it is. Uh, it's yes, it's a Symbian uh, Bell feature pack one. So I'll show you. So this is a picture taken at uh, daylight, as you can see with, with the pure view uh, imaging yeah. technology. There's no Sorry. there's no noise in the picture. And if I, even if I zoom to the picture, you know, the quality of the picture is still maintained, right? Okay. And then if I zoom it again, I can actually see the snowflake in her hair. And this is the original picture. Nice. It's not a fake snowflake. No, it's not a fake. I can take a picture of you and show you the same thing as well. <laughs> you can go like a microscope. So, uh, this is real technology then? Yes, it is. Yeah. And uh, when is it on the market? It's in Q2. Q2. How much is it going to cost? 450 euros before subsidies and taxes. Nice. So, you worked on the camera, right? Yes. So, what do you do about this camera? This is like the craziest camera in the world, no? Yes, it's 41 megapixel sensor. Carl's size optics, mechanical shutter, and xenon flash. So, it's comparable to any digital steel camera in the market, like in quality sense. Yeah, but how can you make 41 mega megapixel? It's impossible. Yeah, the size uh, module is, also, of course, it's big, yeah, but still the product is quite nice size. That's fine. So the we... module can be, you can make it twice as big. I don't mind, but why? Why? How can you make it 41 megapixel? Uh, what is the chip processor inside? Yeah, it's 1.3 uh, giga sensor. Oh, chip. Processor? Yeah, processor. Yeah? Uh, Qualcomm or? That's something I yeah? I cannot comment here. Yeah? <laughs> you can guess. Okay, I can guess. And uh, what's it called? Uh, what is a... There's a special image sensor, uh, image um, processor, no? To do that kind of resolution. Yes, it, has. it has that kind of special, special chip for that. Is that secret? Yes, the kind of, we have been doing it collaboration with uh, with some other companies and Nokia R and D is also behind this for a long time. Toshiba yeah. was one of the collaborations. I can mention that. Nice. So you work with Toshiba and some other secret partners and Nokia. And for how long has you been working on this sensor? It's been a long time Nokia R and D development for this. So I would say like five years. The idea was growing, and then we kind of started to think of the product with a lot of pixels, high quality optics, and no optical zoom because then you can have better quality optics because you need to do compromise if you have an optical zoom. But with without optical zoom and good 41 megapixel sensor with high quality pixels like 1.4 micro pixels you really can drop then the sensor and use it like a zoom it's not optical zoom it's not digital zoom it's lossless lossless digital zoom no kind of but you can also take 41 megapixel picture yeah, if you want. Yeah. Oh, it, it's actually 38 megapixels. 38? The sensor is 41. Yes, it's because in this aspect ratio of uh, 4 to 3, uh, we need to kind of crop it a bit. And in, um, in this wide, like 16 to 9 aspect ratio, we, we have a 34 megapixel picture. But it's still relatively so high resolution. In the other conference, you can go to the Nikon stand, and they say, okay, we do 30. 
34? Yeah, they have 36. 36 maximum. That's the most expensive big Nikon camera. And you do more. Yeah. The That's idea. not normal. <laughs> yeah, the idea of this product is different from Nikon. But in quality sense, in some situations, this is a better device. The optics cannot be as good as a DSLR. It's not possible, right? Okay. DSLR has bigger optics. Yes, it's totally different. You see it and you can... Uh, with the DSLR issue, you can do different things. But this device is um, quite nice for zooming and high quality pictures. And maybe not comparing to that different kind of devices, but kind of backed up for photographers yeah. as a second device. Your big optics get broken, you still can get a broadcast quality with this one. So, in 20 years, when the children grow up, they will not be so angry. They will be just a little bit angry, but not too much. Like, Meaning. The parents, if they cannot afford a DSLR, they didn't bring it, and the baby picture. It's important you have a good quality, right? Yes, good in its quality is the target point of this product. All right, but uh, so you will never be able to be as good as DSLR, never. It's because size is important. Yes, size is important. We put this to a small size, but this uh, kind of non-optical zooming optics and high quality pixels. We can do similar kind of things like zooming, lossless zooming. Let's try that. Okay. So, like in, uh, I've been yeah. shooting the 38 megapixel picture, and I can go to a gallery as I was now in the yeah. gallery, and I can I can zoom in to the detail. Nice, and it's still readable. Although the starting point was like this, and even the recognizing like people's name tags or something, yeah. you can really, it's um, it's not like uh, SLR usage, but still you have a lot of details, a lot of pixels you can zoom in, in and out. You can you zoom in while you take the picture now? Yes. Can you just yes. do, take a new picture and you zoom in like crazy? Yeah, let's leave the gallery and go to the camera application. So then we had a full resolution picture in the beginning, yeah. but now now, for zooming, we need to select this pure view and put it, for example, to 5 megapixels. So then we have 5 megapixel yeah. pictures out, but we can zoom. Okay. So, like here, I go this way, and I can zoom that area of the sensor. Right. And it's still high quality, really high quality, and no digital zooming, just cropping the sensor, which is 41 megapixels. Nice. And good optics, and this end resolution is 5 megapixels now. You can go even further in? Uh, not in, in, in that mode, I can uh, put pure 3 megapixels, three, 3 megapixels, and then I can go even further in. And then the end result is 3 megapixels, but very high quality. Nice optics. So that's impossible on any other phone in the world? Yes. Impossible? Yeah, it's impossible for any other phone. Nice.